the fixed quad helix is cemented in the mouth. The active elements are the four helical coils that activate upon adjustment to give you lateral development of the arch. The adjustment procedure for this, as with any quad helix, begins with taking initial measurements in the passive state. First, take a measurement across the appliance in two points, one where the wire exits the solder joint, in this case it is 34 millimeters, and two, the tip of the lingual arms, 29 millimeters. Place a 4 millimeter expansion load into the appliance. Removing the appliance from the model, you gently take the bands between your thumb and forefinger, at the same time grasping hold of the portion of the lingual arm, and evenly pull the appliance laterally. You can see in this case all four helixes are activated. Doing this will give you an equal amount of development in both the bicuspid-cuspid region and the molar region. If you desire more expansion in the molar region, simply expand the appliance more in that area. If you desire more expansion in the anterior region, simply reach up a little further onto the wire and expand in that direction. In this example, we're looking for equal expansion out laterally, approximately 4 millimeters. 34 becomes 38, and 29 becomes 33. Once the appliance has been developed out to the 4 millimeter expanded arch measurement, it becomes difficult to cement in the mouth because it has now been activated. Imagine trying to apply cement to two bands, squeeze it back into the initial size that the arch is now, and hold these bands in place in a young child in a wet field. This would present quite a challenge even to the most experienced doctor. So the best way to do this is to apply an elastic orthodontic band to the arch to return the appliance to its passive width and place it back on the model, as you'll see us doing here. This will compress the appliance long enough for easy cementation, after which simply cut off the elastic.